Yo, what's going on, y'all? What's going on? What's up? Uh, at work as usual. And during my break, I'm uh, writing some plans down because this catering launch is about to happen extremely fast. September 22nd is coming up extremely fast. Uh, it's about five and a half weeks away. And I still have a ton of things to do. Uh, I'm not giving up. I'm going for it. And we're going to make it happen. It's going to be big. It's going to be larger than life. However, I need help. I need your help. Uh, and so now I am on here to solicit volunteers. Okay. Somebody said, what you mean volunteers? We ain't getting paid. It's a startup company. Uh, so, we are launching on that day. And after after our launch, we're going to do a hiring event where I'm actually going to hire staff members, such as cooks, servers, all that good stuff. Because we're going to have a steady influx of business that's going to come in right after that. Matter of fact, we have business waiting for our launch right now. So there's business uh, waiting and there's money to be made. But in order to get the launch going, uh, this is uh, pretty much a non-profit event. This is just for people to get uh, aware of us and to know who New Onk Vegan Soul Catering is. Therefore, I need... A sous chef, somebody that is competent in the kitchen, somebody that knows his way around the kitchen, has knife skills, he or she, doesn't matter, male or female, I don't care. You just have to know how to boil water, and you have to know your way around the kitchen. You have to know uh, about mother sauces. You have to know about knife skills, how to uh, put recipes together. If I'm fishing around an idea, I want you to be able to have be able to put a concept together that has wow factor because new ox food has to have wow factor you've never tasted vegan food like this uh you're not going to taste it anywhere like this so anybody that comes along that's going to help cook has to have wow factor with their food they have to know about spices they have to know about ingredients they have to know about uh different flavor profiles such as mediterranean Middle Eastern, Caribbean, Asian flavors. Uh, we're doing everything outside of the standard American diet because there really is no flavor in American diet except salt and hot sauce. That's, that's the American diet. However, flavors from other regions ha use spices. And I need a cook or a chef that's not afraid to use spices and herbs. Fresh spices. I ain't talking about, you know big jars of stuff that come from Sam's Club. I mean, real fresh spices, herbs, dried spices, know what to do with them, know what goes with what. I need you for that day. And, you know, if you are impressive enough, we'll talk about going further. However, for the 22nd of September, I need people who are actually available on the 21st because we're going to be setting up the dining hall, I'm going to be setting up um, everything, pretty much, because it's going to be at Christ Temple Ministries Fellowship Hall, and tables have to be set up, decorations have to be done. Well, my wife is taking care of the decorations because she's an interior decorator. However, we still need help with setting things up. So, uh, with that being said, here's the rundown. I need a sous chef. All that I mentioned before. It's not afraid of uh, flavor profiles. All that stuff. Uh, can you guys see me? Wave if you can or can't. Uh, I've just been told by a message that I can't be seen. Uh, can you hear me? Can you see me? Give me a holler. Before I go further. Uh, all right. So I guess I can be seen. Maybe it's just somebody's phone. All right. Good enough. Need a sous chef. 
competent sous chef. I need two cooks that can follow instructions, not heady and high-minded. Uh, you must know your way around the kitchen as well. Uh, but you have to be able to follow chef's orders. I need two hostesses uh, that can be the first point of contact for our guest, uh, direct them to where everything is, show them, you know, around the dining hall, things are going to be set up. I need about 10 servers. Although this is going to be mostly buffet style, uh, we are going to have some things being brought to the tables, you know, and being introduced. So I need about 10 servers. And I need about four strong guys that are able to like lift tables and, um, you know, set things up, uh, set up furniture, set up, uh, help my wife with decorations as far as like hanging things or w whatever. I, I don't even know what she's doing. That's her area, her department. Uh, but we need help with arranging things, setting up furniture, all that good stuff. So if you are able to volunteer, notice I said volunteer, which means we are not in position to offer paychecks on for that particular day. Like I said, after this event, we are having a hiring event where we actually be hiring for jobs, which means they will be paid. People will be paid according to their qualifications uh, because this is a real company. This is not a fly-by-night catering company. I've been in the business, been doing this for 25 years, so I know my stuff. Uh, I just need people to help me get started because once it takes off, it's going to be big. It's going to be huge. Uh, we're going to be cooking everywhere. I already have corporate accounts lined up. I already have uh, people that want to do um, uh, prepared meals. So uh, the clientele is there, or the principals are there. I don't really like that word clientele because it means it has other connotations to it. However, if you are able to volunteer between the 21st, which is that Friday, and the 22nd, which is that Saturday, the actual day of the event, we're going to be working all day long because it's a lot of stuff to do, a lot of stuff to prepare. Um, and we need to have everything set up, ready to run no later than 2 p.m. on Saturday. The event starts at 4. I want everything set, all food done prior to 2 p.m. so that when people come in, everything's ready to roll. I want to be able to feed staff before people come in so nobody's hungry, nobody's standing around with a sad face. I need everybody smiling. So if you're able to volunteer for either of those two days, I need you to uh, write something in the chat saying what you're volunteering for. Like if you say, I can do it, I can do it both days, I can do one day, I can do Saturday and I'm volunteer for hostess, or I'm volunteer for, uh, and that's host or hostess, so me, male or female, I don't care about that. I'm not a chauvinist, so I just want work done. Uh, if you're volunteering for a cook, volunteer for a sous chef, uh, volunteer for moving furniture, either way, um, just put it in the chat. Let me know, send me a direct message. Call me, 609-516-4165, 609-516-4165. Call me, let me know what you're available for, whether you can do both days, one day, and what job description you're available for. Now, don't, don't say you're available to be a cook or a sous chef and you can't boil an egg. I, I don't need that. This is not playtime. And, and actually, and, and don't volunteer to be a host or server if you have a bad attitude and you can't wear a smile and you don't like people. If you're not a people person, do not volunteer to be a host or hostess. Please don't. I need positive people, positive energy, people who like smiling, people who like talking to people, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, but get at me. 
quickly. I need your responses within like the next week because we got a lot of stuff to do. I still have a, about a 150 things left to do prior to this date, but it's going to happen. It's going to happen. We're going to make it happen. It's going to be big. It's going to be larger than life. Tell everybody you know. I want the crowd to be huge. I don't care if we're busting at the seams. I want it to be standing room only because I want people to taste this food and tell everybody they know about it so that we can change how people eat in the tri-state area. All right, that is it for tonight. I just wanted to let you all know I'm excited and I hope you all are excited for me. Oh, one more thing. Uh, please do not get sidetracked by the Eventbrite post that is above that's still on the page and it still has the ticket prices i mentioned uh last week that it is a free will donation that is still true i just i didn't take the event right down because i still need people to rsvp so i have an idea of how many people i'm feeding so if you if you can just click on the number saying how many tickets you want that gives me an idea you you can do general admission because the uh, VIP one has only a 50 count but general admission will give me an idea of how many uh, tickets I need to I mean how many spots I need to fill and how many uh, how much food I need to actually have so do respond to that you're you're not obligating yourself to buying a ticket by paying money you're just clicking on it so I know I have a number uh, but I do need you to bring free will donations because we're, like I said, this is being coupled with a nonprofit that we're starting. We're going to the schools. We're trying to change how the cafeterias feed our children. So your donations really mean something. Uh, this this company is more than just a business. We're actually giving back to the community. So we need your help. We need your donations. We need your advertisement your word of mouth, and uh, we want your support. I, I've been a Trentonian all my life. I've been here all my life, born and raised in Trenton, and I'm here to try to do some things that will help tra take Trenton back. Uh, I love my city, and uh, this is this is my way of giving back to my community. So I'm looking for you all to join me. I'm looking for you all to be there on the 22nd of September, eating my food and enjoying it and telling somebody else about it. So looking forward to you. Thank you for your support. All the encouraging words, all the emails, everything. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it. And it will mean so much more for me to see your faces in the building. 471 Parkway Avenue, Christ Temple Ministries Fellowship Hall. September 22nd, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Do not miss it. Tell everybody you know. Thank you.